dolls. So today I have a whoosh, 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 hair extension video for you guys. So as you guys obviously know, I colored my hair pink uh, using Arctic Fox dye and I got a new set of extensions from VP Fashion. It is vpfashion.com. I will leave the link in the description box below and I do have a coupon code for you guys. You can use code MANDA, it's just my name, all lowercase, uh, for $10 off your purchase from VP Fashion. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I dyed these extensions. You can see they pretty much, for the most part, match my hair now. Um, there are a few spots like right here that are a little bit patchy that I wasn't able to get with just one dye or one coloring. So I will probably be doing them one more time. Uh, that is not because of the extensions. That was just because it was my bad and I missed some spots. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you here is what they look like in. I have not trimmed them. I have not cut them down. Nothing because I wanted to show you guys what they look like before I do that. Um, so you can see how long and how full they are. They look, they blend in really well with my, I want to say my natural hair, but clearly pink is not my natural color. They blend in really well with my real hair and these are human hair extensions. So you can wash them, you can straighten them, you can curl them, you can do whatever you want to them that you would do with your real hair pretty much. I have talked about VP Fashion a few times on my channel, but this is the box that they came in and I just wanted to show you some of the cool things that uh, they came with this time. So as you can see on this little card right here, here are all of the details. They are 24 inch. And then this little card right here says 100% premium Indian Remy human hair. And I will post the link to these exact extensions in the uh, description box below, but they are just kind of like the lightest blonde ones meant for coloring whatever crazy color you may have on your head. So if you are someone like me and who has crazy colored hair now and you want a little bit of length, uh, you could just buy the blonde ones and dye them like you would the hair on your head. They carry all kinds of stuff now. Um, they have hair extensions, they have uh, wigs I think. They also have like thinning shears where you can trim your extensions with, which I do have that I was sent by them um, a few sets a while back ago if that makes sense like one of the last times I got their extensions they sent me one of those uh, thinning shears I think they have some brushes they have some accessor accessories for you to uh, also put in your hair but the extensions also come with I'm not sure if every single set comes this way but mine always have they come with these awesome little bags for you to store your extensions in with this awesome little hanger so you kind of just like set the extensions in here like so and then just pull this part up and it secures them in and then you just slip this through here there's like a little hole that you can stick the hanger up through and you can store them in your closet or on the back of your bathroom door whatever is the most easy and accessible place for you to store them honestly I usually just throw them in the box <laughs> I don't usually take too good care of my extensions. I typically just throw them in the box that they came in. Uh, but this is a great option if you are someone who wants to keep them maintained and healthy and all of that stuff. And there's a few pieces in here that I missed while straightening. So just tuck those away and ignore them. But I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip right here of how I dyed them. I just used this uh, Tresemme, Tres Tresemme? I just used a Tresemme conditioner, just a white one to kind of dilute the pink down a little bit. And then I used a uh, Virgin Pink from Arctic Fox, mixed it up in a little Cool Whip container with a brush, applied my gloves because I don't want to get it everywhere. And just a quick tip uh, for you to dye your extensions get a towel that is a similar color as the dye so if you're doing blue extensions get a blue color towel you can get them super super cheap this pink one I picked up at Walmart for like two or three dollars and it is almost the exact color of the dye that I was using so it was super convenient and I didn't make a mess <laughs> 
So what I did is I just applied the dye to one side of the extensions and then I flipped them over. I tried to make sure they were coated as much as possible, but since this was my only second time coloring extensions, I missed a few spots and I'll probably have to go back and dye them again, but that is no big deal because it's just literally the same process. It's quick and easy and painless for the most part. And then what I did once they were all done is I kind of just folded them up in the towel and left them sit there for 40 minutes to an hour. I set my timer for 40 minutes and then I checked them and then I ended up just letting it sit for another 20 minutes. Arctic Fox hair dye is vegetable based so it's not going to harm or hurt the hair at all whatsoever. If anything it's going to kind of treat it as a conditioner and a treatment or a moisture treatment for the hair. So don't feel like leaving an arctic fox is going to damage the hair because it will not. And then once the time was up, you can either just rinse them out in the bathtub, which I don't really like to do because then it's like the suds, they're kind of just like sitting in the suds from the conditioner and all that stuff. So I take a sprayer, like a sprayer and also you can even rinse them in the sink, honestly, with the little dish sprayer. I have a shower head that you can kind of take off and spray with, and that's what I use to uh, rinse all of the dye out after the time was up. Just rinse them clean. I let them air dry overnight and then I put them in my hair and then I straightened the whole mess all together um as you can see like I said before I missed a few spots like this right here you can see how wavy this is compared to the rest uh but it's because I was in a hurry to do this video and I just wanted to be done with it so it doesn't look as natural and convincing as it could and like I said I have not yet trimmed these down I plan to take my little thinning shears and go on these outside edges right here and just kind of like create some layers create some dimensions so it's not just like a heaping mass of horse hair <laughs> I mean if you go like this it looks like ponytails like literal ponytails like <laughs> Yeah, like that. <laughs> but I love how shiny and pretty they are without looking totally fake. Uh, they're so, so soft. I love VP Fashion. They come with like a weird scent, but after you dye them and wash them a few times, it kind of starts fading away. Uh, but yeah, I love my VP Fashion hair extensions, and I feel like I am a blossoming unicorn with a giant pony mane now. I mean, you can see how thick this wad of hair is. Like, I could barely touch my fingers around it. It's a lot of hair. And then, like, you can do these big, full, chunky braids that look so cute. So, yeah, if you're someone who just wants a little bit more length or even just volume, for me, I have the hair extensions for a volume rather than necessarily length because my hair is pretty long as it is. It comes to about, like, right here. But having those few extra inches is fun to play with. And, like I said, the volume is also really cool and fun. And this set right here that I got came with uh, two wefts that have four clips, two wefts that have three clips, and four wefts that each have one clip. So if you guys don't know how to apply clip-in extensions, I will leave a link to one of my older videos. It explains everything there. Go watch that. Um, I'm not really going to re-explain it here because I already have on my channel. Uh, but yes, if you want to get your hands on some VP fashion hair extensions, my code is MANDA. It'll save you $10. And yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I love them. I've always just raved about them. There was a t time period where I just started wearing wigs and I didn't really wear my hair extensions too much. And now that I'm wearing extensions again, it's just so much more relieving than wigs. Because wigs, you have to put on like this whole wig cap and hair, like tuck your hair down in. And these, you just clip, 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 go. It's so simple, so easy, and just convenient. And they're such amazing quality. They've always been so good, and their customer service has always been through the roof. They always aim to be very active uh, across all social media, and they aim for good customer service. And that is one thing that I really look for, especially when I'm working with a brand, is their customer service and they have always been so understanding and so patient and so sweet with me and 
I just love BP Fashion so much. So thank you guys so much for uh, working with me, continuing to work with me, and joining me on my hair journey throughout my channel through the years. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a pair of VP fashion hair extensions or a set not a pair because I guess you get a lot rather than just two uh, anyway leave me a comment down below if you yourself have a set of VP fashion hair extensions and what your personal experience with them is I like to know just from everyday customers what your guys's experiences are and with that being said I guess I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you my voice cracked. Okay, bye. <laughs>